Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Dusk and welcome to another Witchy Wednesday video and in this video I am going to be talking about my altar. So uh, you're probably wondering why you're going to be talking about your altar but specifically uh, what I mean is taking care of your altar. Like I am quite bad for this, I hold my hands up, I, uh, I am bad for this, I I have, I suppose it's, di it's different for people that don't have a permanent altar, but if you, if you obviously if you get out your altar tools and you pack them away and stuff like that, then I suppose it could still apply, but especially for people that have a permanent altar, like I, my altar gathers like dust and it, sometimes I can just sort of feel like the stagnant energy around it after a while. And, I, and it's very, very important every so often to just take everything off your altar and just dust everything down, like shake out your altar cloth, have a spritz of nice like essential oils and just uh, even smudge the area just to make it, just to get rid of that sort of stagnant energy and just to sort of make way for positive good vibes and sort of, you, you know, just cleanse, cleanse the area. And, I, and if you do that on a regular basis, you will notice that for your rituals and spells and things like that, that they will either come to fruition earlier, will be a lot more effective. Like I, I find, because I am really guilty, I, sometimes it will be months, I will, because my altar sits on a shelf above my bed. I'm sh uh, I need to do another altar uh, video soon, but it's one of the first ones I did on my channel, so if you want to see what my altar looks like, then check it out. But um, what I what I do, I find sometimes, yes, yeah, on a shelf above my bed. And for some reason, I don't know if it's because we've got pets, like by my house gets really sort of like a lot of dust and things like that. And um, it's not messy. I haven't got like things just like leftover things like just lying on it or anything like that. But I find that I leave it. I don't intentionally leave it. And then every so often I'll wake up and I'll get out of bed and I'll see it and I'll notice there's all dust on my like fairies or my witches or just on my crystals and I'll keep meaning I'll keep meaning to clean it and then I don't do it for ages but I find as soon as I actually spend that like 15 minutes or whatever take everything off dust it all shake out my altar cloth wipe down my shelf and uh, I like to sort of burn some incense for like half an hour or something and like on there as well just to clear up the energy and just smell nice and I find that as soon as I do that and I put everything back on and sometimes I put it back on in a different order and things like that and I find that it really sort of like it's almost like an instant refresher like a boost for your craft and I'm sure I'm not the only, only one it's because after a while once you've set up your altar your altar is just like a part of the furniture basically you just get so used to seeing it every day and you just get so used to s sort of seeing it just uh you sort of almost not forget about it but you sort of neglect to take care of it in the way that you should if that makes sense like obviously your altar if you choose to have one is an integral part of your craft and it deserves to be kept clean and tidy and it deserves that respect it is magical magical place that helps you to really really get to where you need to be spiritually and if you neglect it and don't care for it like that's like anything in life after a while obviously it just builds up and builds up and then it just uh, effectively it just stops working it doesn't work in the way that you want it to and you'll notice that your rituals and things like that and your spells or even just sitting in your sacred space with your altar you'll notice that it's not it doesn't feel how it should feel and it's just different if that makes sense and not different in a good way <laughs> but yeah and I suppose that does go for people actually thinking about it that don't have permanent altars if you take down your altar and maybe you store all your items in a box like under your bed or wherever like you two need to clean or clean out your items clean out that box I'm sure the stagnant energy builds up especially if you uh, go through quite long periods before you take it, take out your altar again. So it's important, even if you're not going to take out your altar to set it up for a purpose, it's important to go into your box or wherever you store it and just sort of clean everything up and make it all nice and fresh and things like that. Otherwise, unpleasant energy will build up and it's just like a neglect that you really shouldn't be 
neglecting your altar. But anyway, I hope this video helped. And I am so cool, I'm chuffed. It's only just over five minutes. This is the shortest one so far, so we are getting there. But anyway, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on this video and if you have any suggestions for series and things like that, um, as well as suggestions for this series, and I would love to know them. But until my next video, I shall see you guys soon. Bye.